I found out about Am I the Asshole like like a year ago from someone that I used to know. And all I know about Am I the Asshole is that people basically go on Reddit and ask questions asking if they are the asshole so and a lot of the questions in the reddit i don't know if they call it thread or sub thread or sub reddit thing the questions on there tend to range from like i ate my mom's favorite yogurt and lied about it am i the asshole to i slept with my sister and her best friend and i like my sister better am i the asshole i don't i don't know they they just come in all different troubles and uniqueness i was browsing the internet and i found that there is a threat or there's a category of people asking if they're the asshole but it's anime edition today i'm going to be reading these am i the asshole questions with you guys and truly answering if they are the asshole or not Hey everyone, my name is Nezu, also known as Madara's Daughter, and if you're new here, welcome, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when I post, and also if you like this video, just like this video, because you like me anyway, and uh, comment whatever you think is relevant, I don't really judge, so... We're just gonna like start from whichever one I find. Oh dear god, I wish this was dark mode. Uh so am I the asshole for gatekeeping anime culture and calling my friend pretentious? Also, I am um not English English, so a lot of big words. I don't really know what that means, but I think I can kinda understand the context of things. This post is directed to all the anime lovers on this sub because I'm not too sure others might understand, of course. So this is how the story goes. I, female 20, I'm guessing that's what F20 means. So her, let's call her, since we're doing an anime thread, let's call her Mikasa. Um, so Mikasa is 20 years old and she has a friend, let's call her Ino. She's also 20 years old. She has been one of my closest friends for the past 10 years. That's a very long time. So basically, since we're both 10, we've pretty much grown up together. Some background on Inno, she has always been the type of person to seek her self-worth in men. I feel like I know where this is going, but let's keep reading. This has caused her to change her personality every time she's dating a new guy. She begins by adopting new habits out of nowhere just to impress the guy and then once she has dated said guy for a significant amount of time and the relationship reaches its saturation point, she breaks up and goes back to her normal self. That's kind of weird, I think, changing your entire personality for one person like this is why the relationships are not even lasting because you're not yourself in the first place you know now i have no qualms i love that fucking word qualms i have no qualms with this it's her life in the end and she can administer as many personalities as she wants true as long as they don't directly affect me true mikasa it really is me like she really is me for real I'm a very non-confrontational person and I always avoid conflicts. I feel like this is me. Did I write this? As a result of this, we have hardly ever had any noteworthy fights or arguments. I love the woman to death and she has been a very important pillar in most of in my most fundamental growth stages. Cool. Okay. So first part, we have Inno who basically changes her personality every time she meets a man. A little background on me that's relevant to the story. For the past seven years or so, I have been a huge anime slash manga consumer. I'm a big fan of the culture of certain shows and mangas and I could qualify as that annoying weeb who frequently posts in about it on her social media, me. Of course, there's a hell lot more to me than anime. It's not the only aspect of my personality, but it's the basis for a lot of my values today. Oh my, this is me. I swear, guys, this is, this is, this is me. I feel like I wrote this, but like, 
I also didn't. My perceptions on several concepts, my perspectives on many philosophical debates, etc. My friends have always been aware of this. Once in a while, when I find something really worth watching, I try to recommend it to my friends, including Eno, and they all brush it off. This has never really bothered me because I understand people have different tastes, so I would never force it on them. Fair enough. Now this is where, ooh, 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 ooh. I feel like Eno is going to like a guy and he is gonna be super duper duper into anime and then all of a sudden she's gonna start coming like oh my god like i love anime so much like and she's gonna be one of those fake anime fans or maybe those like people who like post pictures and like oh my god if you like me that means you like code kiss or something i don't know now this is where the conflict begins inno developed a crush on this new guy her gym trainer three months ago and he's very different from her usual crushes meaning he's a sapiosexual in a lot of ways from what i know of him inner has taken it as a challenge and she's been trying all sorts of stunts to get him to speak to her after following him back on instagram in january she realized he was posting a lot of anime related stories fan art discussion threads you know the like and she would show me these stories every time and ask me what anime the story was from. Now it's one thing to, um, like, to if I give you anime, like I recommend you anime, you constantly brush it off and you're like, no, it's not for me. I don't like anime, yada, yada, yada. But then you start sending me a story of a guy you like and keep asking me what anime this is. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna ignore you and I'm gonna block you. And to give me a few pointers to discuss it with him so he thinks their interests align. No. I'd advise her to just watch the anime, but she'd always brush it off saying she doesn't have time. On this one occasion, she asked me about one of the stories, and it was a poster of the Sorvet Corpse from this anime, Attack on Titan. I told her so, and that was that. Fast forward three months. Her behavior has become overbearing. It has reached a point where she has been constantly badgering me to give her information on any anime related content I post on my story so she can go and discuss it with her crush. Some random incidents that led up to the big incident. <sighs> Mikasa being a non-confrontational person and having to deal with someone like this is the hardest thing. She's going to keep giving in to you know, constantly asking her about said anime and it's like you're acting like some other person. This is not yourself. You shouldn't have to pretend to like anime to get a guy. That's just, it's kind of insane. Recently, I posted this one story about my favorite anime of all time, One Piece, about an episode and how much it made me cry. Yeah, this anime tends to make me cry a lot. It's just that well made and written. I have previously recommended this anime to her as well. And she knows just how much this anime means to me. She screenshotted it and was about to post it on her story without knowing the context of that scene or any information about the anime whatsoever. Thankfully, our other mutual friend told her it would be very stupid, so Inner relented. We were sitting together and I happened to be wearing a tank top and a necklace that was basically anime merchandise. She asked me which anime it was from and I told her an Akatsuki Cloud necklace and a Ninetale Fox Seal tank top. Oh, that sounds cute. Almost immediately she asked me if she could borrow it for a few minutes, wear it, record a video in it to upload to her social media and then give it back. I said no. Yes. These artifacts mean a lot to me. They have value behind them. I don't think someone who doesn't understand the value and simply wants to use it to get laid should be adorned in them. That's okay, no, that's strange. To borrow the shirt that I'm wearing just so you can impress a man. Baby girl, mm mm. That, no, mm mm. Mm mm. I'm very active on anime Twitter and I post a lot of my opinions on it regarding certain anime. On several occasions, she has copied my opinions verbatim on certain shows without knowing a thing about these shows and then posted it on her Instagram in the hopes that her crush would strike up a conversation with her. This is, I don't even know this is pick me anymore. This is very, this is worrying. This is disturbing. She needs help. Now this brings me to my last point, the trigger incident that took place today. 
She reposted a popular creator's role in Instagram. The reel basically talked about how the creator's biggest man crush didn't exist in real life. And then proceeded to show an animated character, Leroy Ackerman, Ackerman from Attack on Titan. I laughingly pointed it out to her and asked her if she even knew who the character is. And she retorted, Jesus Christ, retorted in a very accusatory tone. Is what I think she sounds like. Notwithstanding the obvious lie of switching between reading to watching, I told her I knew one reason that this is a sure shot lie because she had asked me no less than three months ago about the related poster her crush had reposted, and I told her the name of the anime. Levi Eren Mikasa are, I think, the most recognizable characters from Attack on Titan. Um, Armin is recognizable, but he does look a lot like Erwin, um, but it's like how do you not know you know it, it's giving bullshit it is giving bullshit if she did watch slash read it six months ago she wouldn't have had to ask me about the poster three months ago she would have recognized levi in that poster herself i told her she didn't need to lie to me and i was getting tired of her pretentious behavior and then she proceeded to say that i'm gatekeeping anime culture <laughs> and hurting her feelings for calling her out for something I have no business in. This led to an argument that ended with me storming out on her. I wasn't sure if me calling her pretentious was a dick move or not, but now our mutual friends thinks I was an asshole for blowing this out of proportion. So could you guys please tell me if I did in fact let my feelings for a culture I've grown up loving cloud my rational thinking if yes, then I wouldn't waste a moment's breath in apologizing and making amends, but I don't want to do that if my anger was reasonable. First off, I think her anger was extremely reasonable. I think she even handled it way better than I would have handled it. Why are you trying to pretend to like anime to get some dick? Pretending that you like anime is a very, very, very scary because you're pretending to like this entire culture for the sake of a guy and then she's now going to stop liking anime once she meets someone who is no longer into anime and that's not cool and i think i think her friends are actually pretty shitty for saying that she was blowing it out of proportion when it's like can you not see your other friend is literally pretending to like something that she is in love with and another thing is she's not gatekeeping anime at all if she was gatekeeping she a wouldn't have given you know the information that she wanted to be able to use to impress her crush b she wouldn't have even tried to put her on any of these animes like i've been a gatekeeper before i know what it's like to be a gatekeeper and it's not that if I'm sharing information with you and I'm actually telling you what this anime is, who this character is, what this scene is about, yada, 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 that's not me gatekeeping. I'm literally giving you the information for free. But it's an issue if you're taking this information and you're using it to go impress someone for the sake of having sex or being in a relationship because that's not you. That's not your personality. So no, I don't think you're being the asshole i think you're very valid in your anger and i think that you should tell her that she needs to stop pretending to be this person every single time she basically has a crush like she needs to stop acting like a whole different human being whenever she has a crush on someone so yeah no no baby you're not the asshole that one was quite long hopefully the next one isn't as long I might be asshole for not letting my daughter, 16, watch anime anymore. Yeah. Hi Reddit, a few days ago I had to put my foot down and stop my daughter from watching anime. Why? Anime, anime don't hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? This needs some context as I don't want people to think I have an issue with the medium or Japanese culture, okay? So my daughter, Marianne, has been pretty obsessed with anime since she was 12. At first, I didn't see a big issue. I was scared about the social ramifications because my older son, Silvio, 19, used to tell us about the kids in school that people made fun of called weebs. Okay, I can see where 
her worry is coming from but i want to know why she completely banned anime because that's a kind of a you know severe extreme length to go to but i was scared marianne will become one of these people these people my first problem with her animes started when during our dinner she would start by what she called thanking for the food in japanese i do this silvio said he saw her do it out in school once which scared me this was weird but wasn't the end of the world but not long after she started wanting to get into what she says is cosplaying where a person dresses as a character from anime i guess she showed me prices for whatever it is she needed to buy and it was absurdly high yeah cosplay is freaking expensive so i do i do kind of understand so far because cosplay is why expensive she eventually got her own job with her brother at the local country club so she got to buy her own stuff which is fine until she finally finished her costume last week what i mean is the costume was finished and she was happy and i was trying to bond with her so i asked her questions about who she's meant to be this was a mistake because she described to me that her character was from a show with so much goddamn incest <laughs> like it was no big deal I can't, I can't, uh, yes, yes, anime, some anime do be having incest in it, and I just, uh, <laughs> I can't even blame them so far, because, like, <laughs> anime do be having incest, like, and it's literally a part of the culture as well, well, to a certain extent, anyway, so, um, yeah, I was mortified. I knew she watched some weird stuff, but incest was taking it way too far. I mean, she has a brother, like what the fuck? <laughs> I told her that from now on, she's forbidden from watching those shows and she flipped out calling me an asshole. <laughs> My wife was mostly weirded out, but compared it to how much porn nowadays relies on so much incest. How does she know that? How does your wife know that? That's suspicious. That's weird. While well, my son just said he knew she watched things like that and found it creepy. It's been a few days since and she's really upset. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Update. So Marianne is still banned from watching these shows. The more I looked into what I was told, the less I wanted her to return to them. The medium feels so perverted. As such, I can't allow her to watch these things. Okay. Okay, so are you the asshole? Uh, half and half. There are some anime out there that definitely is very different to western norm yeah they can be slightly problematic and whatever to you and your family and whatnot but i think withholding it from her rather than try to educate her on um these subjects i've watched really messed up shit i don't even think my mom would have wanted me watching at the age of 13. i've watched a lot of harem shows a lot of shows that had incest in it but i don't think i've ever once thought mm, i might just give incest a try like i feel like instead of completely banning her from watching anime i feel like you should do more research because if you did do more research you find that anime isn't just filled with incest ecchi hentai there's literally so many different types of anime out there there's just so many different anime like even recently by family there's nothing really wrong with that show so if you actually do your research you find that there's all sorts of different anime out there that she can enjoy and you might not feel as weird by you know but i don't think withholding it from her is a good idea maybe sit her down and talk to her about these things maybe watch it for yourself you might like it you might understand the the appeal and why she actually likes the anime but banning anime is a bit extreme am i the asshole for banning my husband from watching anime i know the title sounds bad but let me tell my f33 side okay my husband m35 is a huge fan of elon musk
I feel like being on her side already. Red flag. I, I don't know how you didn't see this when you were dating. My husband is a huge fan of Elon Musk. He owns a Tesla, a flamethrower, and follows him on all his social media. Ever since Elon mentioned he loves anime on Twitter, my husband has started to watch shows like Dragon Ball Super, Full Metal Alchemist, My Hero Academy. Who says My Hero Academy? Oh my god, you really don't like anime. Well, now he has a full-blown obsession with these shows. This is kind of like the first story, like tailoring your entire personality because someone is into the medium is kind of weird. I personally don't like to watch cartoons because I'm an adult and not a child. Ooh, this is very, um, it's kind of, kind of disrespectful. I don't mind watching cartoons with my five-year-old daughter, but I can't watch cartoons on myself or with my husband. Well, the other night I was watching Tiger King when my husband said he was going to bed. I came upstairs about an hour later. I saw that he was on his phone and I noticed that he was masturbating. <laughs> I demanded to know who he was looking at. He said it was Boom Boomon. Oh Bulma. Bulmon. Bulma though. I mean Bulma is bad. Like Bulma is definitely a baddie, but to get you to feel things i don't think balma would would i was already furious but then he said she was his wife <laughs> <laughs> i asked him aren't i your wife he tried telling me what a wife who was but i did not care i told him that he couldn't watch anime anymore and he hasn't talked to me much since then so reddit am i the asshole tldr i banned him from watching anime because he loved it more than me i highly doubt he loves it more than you but it's definitely concerning so let me get this straight i'm okay with him masturbating i'm not okay with him calling the cartoon character his wife so if you're okay with him masturbating i'm kind of guessing that you're okay with him watching porn but you're just not okay with his newly found obsession with anime because i think me personally i do think it's completely normal to uh, you know let one off to watching i guess hentai in a way yes because banning your husband from watching something he has actually started to like is kind of taking it too far however it is also kind of weird that he decided to base his entire personality on elon musk I don't know how you didn't see that red flag there because that in itself is a massive red flag. I think you just need to talk to your husband a bit more and try to understand anime as a medium rather than banning him from it. I don't think banning someone from doing something that they actually enjoy is the right way to go because you're just doing more harm to the relationship you have with that person than good. I do think your husband is a little weird for basing his entire personality on Elon Musk. Like, and I also think it's weirder that he did it to a ball ma. All right, this is the last one. Am I the asshole for breaking up with a guy because he watches anime? Probably not because some anime guys are weird. Um, I kind of had this rule where I don't date guys who are into anime. Like if they watch one or two really popular shows or the well-known movies, that's one thing, but the ones who watch a ton and new shows every season, that's another. I mostly just do this because it wields out the weebos who fetishize me for being half Japanese. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm. I usually ask this relatively early on and with the guy I've been seeing the last two months, I had to. He then acted like he didn't know much about it and mentioned how he had seen the Ghibli films though. However, recently I found out that he's actually very much into it. I wasn't snooping, but I accidentally found on his computer a folder with a lot of rips of shows and another one where he had saved art of anime girls and stuff like that safe to say he's pretty into it but lied to me about it because he knew it would make a bad impression and he's right as i do have that rule so i decided to break it off mostly because he lied to me but to be honest if he had been honest i wouldn't have dated him in the first place am i the asshole 
no there is this thing where people who um watch anime or into k-pop or japanese culture korean culture fetishize 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 i think i'm saying it right yeah they fetishize asian people and it's really weird like it's really weird and it gets really creepy the fact that she basically has this rule that she doesn't want someone who watches anime because they could fetishize her which is a thing also he lied no she wouldn't have dated him if he didn't lie but you are doing more damage by lying just say the truth you will always find someone else. So no, I don't think you're the asshole. I think lying about something that you do like. This is literally similar to the first one and the Elon Musk dude because you're lying to yourself about the things that you do like in order to pretend to impress someone else, which is problematic in itself. Because even though she gives him a chance, he could literally be lying about anything else. And that is not fun none of us want that anyway thank you all for watching i really do appreciate it let me know what you think down in the comments below and also let me know if you want me to do more of this am i the asshole anime edition or maybe am i the asshole in general to be honest because i have a lot of opinions that are not anime based i just thought this would be a fun little video to do actually and also be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you're always aware whenever i post a video so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye